Hi friends, today we're going to read Pecan Pie Baby, or you might say Pecan or Pecan, either way, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> so you're probably going to hear me say Pecan, that's the little bit of Marylander that's in me. So if you notice the cover, what do you notice on here? What's the first thing that you notice? I'm hoping you notice a mom and a little girl and her belly's um, a little bigger. So this is Gia and her mom is going to have a baby. So Gia's family's changing. So how might Gia feel about that? So I think one of the things with Gia, she's probably excited, but she's also probably nervous. So anytime something changes in your life, and we know how that is right now, things tend to uh, feel different. So let's go ahead and read the book. Just as summer started leaving us, and the leaving brought all those colors to the tree. Mama pulled out my winter clothes. Time to give away the stuff that's too small, I said. This didn't used to be a mini dress, Mama smiled. Let's keep it, Gia. And I knew what was coming next. More talk about that ding dang baby. All right, well it says some things are changing, so what do you think the change is here? Well, one, if she's putting away the summer clothes, it means the seasons are changing, but also if she's going to save some of those baby, those clothes, she's probably going to save them for the new baby. I don't know why we have to keep my old stuff, I said. You do too know why, my mama said back, because there's going to be another baby coming soon. Not real soon, right? Probably by the time the first snow on the ground, Mama said. Cool, huh? Not very, I said. I looked out at the falling leaves and made a silent wish for winter to come and go quickly without bringing any snow. Mama touched my hair. I'll tell you one thing. This baby sure loves itself some pecan pie. It's wanting some right now. Well, I said, I love pecan pie. And you love pecan pie. So that baby's just being a copycat. In the kitchen, Mama cut us a big slice. By the time it was jacket weather, everyone was talking about that baby. You want a boy or a girl? My friend Una and Omni asked at recess. And my friend Tixie said, let's play Mama's having a baby. So look, they're singing, Mama's having a baby. People are going crazy. If it's a boy, give it a toy. If it's a girl, give her a curl. Wrap it up in toilet paper, send it down the escalator. First floor, stop. Second floor, stop. Third floor, you better watch out because S-T-O-P spells stop. So I want you to think about it. Gia's friends seem to be having fun together. So how do Gia's friends seem to feel about the baby? Yeah, it seems like they're excited. Um, and even here. She looks a little more excited than she has just by looking at the pictures and the faces. When my friend, Michaela, slept over, your mama better not put that baby in bed, right? Because then where would I sleep? Man, I was thinking that ding dang baby's going to try and take the place of my sleepover friends. Even my aunties were baby crazy. When they came over for our weekly sweet tea and toast party, they both drank their teas in one huge gulp, and they ate their toast in two bites without either one of them saying to me, Why isn't the weather marvelous, dear lady? Then they got up and sat with Mama talking about that baby. All fall, the leaves kept dropping off the trees, and the days got shorter and shorter. So what do you think here? What do you think she's feeling right now? Well, I would think she maybe feels ignored. She says they both sat there without talking to her. On Saturday, a huge box came, and all afternoon my uncles were in my room scratching their heads and fussing with each other as they put the baby's crib together. At school, my teacher read a book about a girl who was going to become a big sister, and when she finished reading it, everybody looked at me. 
I wonder how that made her feel. How do you think that made her feel? Well, look at the author's picture. Look at her cheeks. Her cheeks are red, so how do you think that made her feel? Yeah, probably embarrassed. Made her kind of feel like she's standing out. So they think they're excited for her, but she doesn't seem too excited about it. Pages are sticking together. When my cousin came to visit with her new baby, she put the wiggly thing in my lap and said, you sure are ready to be a big sister, aren't you? Not really, I said, handing the crying baby back to her. One night, Grandma took us out to the fancy restaurant. She kept fussing over Mama. Eat your greens, she said, and you should order some Brussels sprouts for the baby. Mama made a face and we laughed. Uh-huh, Grandma said. It's not a sprouts baby. That baby loves pecan pie. So for dessert, me and Mama shared a piece. Are you getting enough rest, Grandma asked. You know, I could take Gia. That baby needs you now. I wanted to say, I need Mama now. Then Mama reached over and rubbed my back. Me and the baby need Gia with us. And even though I didn't like it when Mama talked about that ding dang baby, her hands felt nice on my back and I was glad that she needed me. Some days I sat on my stoop thinking about all the years that had been just me and Mama, about us drinking hot chocolate and telling silly stories, about the mornings I jumped into bed when it was still blue and pink outside snuggled up with her while she tried to keep on sleeping. Now, that baby was going to change everything. When my cousins came for Thanksgiving, all anybody could talk about was that baby this and baby that. I was so sick of that ding dang baby. I said, I guess I didn't say it loud enough because everybody kept laughing and talking and making plans for when the baby got here. I'm so sick of that ding dang baby. The whole table got quiet and my mama sent me to my room. Why do you think the mom sent her to her room? Yeah, she probably sent her to her room because she was being rude. Upstairs, I got that teary, choky feeling. And even though there was a whole lot of people in my house, I felt real, real, real alone. Later on, Mama came upstairs and sat beside me. I didn't look at her. You know what I'm going to miss the most when the baby comes to you, Mama asked. I know what I'm going to miss the most, I said. My whole, whole life before, before the ding-dang baby, Mama said. Yeah, before that ding-dang baby. Guess what, Mama whispered. What? I'm going to miss that too. For real? For real. Those were good old days, I said. Guess you're going to have to tell that baby all about it. Nodded. I guess I am. Then Mama hugged me, and we sat like that, just being all cuddly with that ding-dang baby jumping around in Mama's belly. And after a while, Mama said, it's cold out there tonight. Weatherman's calling for snow. Then let's go downstairs and eat some dessert before that ding-dang pecan pie baby gets here. Mama laughed because she knew, just like I did, how much the three of us loved ourselves some pecan pie. That's it. So I have a couple questions for you. So what I wanted to know is, when you looked on page 10, the words ding dang, let me find it, ding dang, they're pretty big. Here it is. Where it says ding dang. Why did the author do that at a different size? Right, he really wants you to stress that when you're doing that. And then I also noticed in here a couple of other little things. Look here, do you remember what we call those? If you said speech bubble, you are correct. So that's the really cool thing about this. So it has them all talking and you know. So when you're thinking about what happens beyond this, so why do you think Gia doesn't like this baby? If you said, one of my responses would be that she doesn't like the baby because it's gonna change something she's used to. So she's in a routine, she likes to have her mom all to herself, and so now all of a sudden she's gotta share that baby. So if that's what you said, you are correct. So I think that anytime something new happens in your life, it kind of disrupts it. 
And then it says, Gia is afraid his life's gonna change because of the baby, and it probably is. So if anybody's ever gotten a new brother or sister or even a pet, so life changes a little bit. So um, I'm hoping that you enjoyed the book tonight and hopefully um, you'll come on and we'll see another one tomorrow. Good night, guys.